In this demo, we are going to see how to use Nmap tool on Kali Linux and scan a network. For this demonstration, I'm going to use uh, three virtual machines. One is the Kali Linux operating system. Another one is Ubuntu virtual machine. Another one is a vulnerable Linux machine by name Metasploitable 2. So we are going to scan the network containing three virtual machines and we are going to see how Nmap tool helps us with that. So let me close the other machines and uh, let me go to Kali Linux. So from Kali Linux, I'm going to run various uh, commands of Nmap and see how this works. The very first command I'm going to run is Nmap H. So this is an help command regarding Nmap. You can get all the details on uh, what should be passed to Nmap as a tool. You can get all the arguments for Nmap that you can use with the Nmap tool. So Nmap H is the help on Nmap. So we'll go to the next command. There's one more command called Nmap V. It gives you the version of Nmap that you are running. So here the version I'm using is 7.80. Okay. So as I told you, Nmap is used for scanning an entire network or you can also scan a specific host. For instance, uh, let me go and scan one specific host in my network, nmap, and then I'll give the IP address of the host, 192.168.217.3. So I am scanning a specific host here by its IP. So it gives me some information on the port that is open and um, on uh, which platform it's running is running on the uh, oracle virtual box and the mac address of my uh, virtual machine too so you can scan a specific target to get some information about the target we can also scan multiple targets how can we scan multiple targets we can give nmap and then ip of one specific target and we can also give ip of another target so I'm giving machine 5 here. So it's going to scan both these targets and fetch me information. So when you take a look here, this scan is for 217.3 and I'm able to see that port 80 is open. Likewise, this scan is for 217.5 and it has got a lot of ports open, FTP, SSH, Telnet, SMTP. So this is a vulnerable Linux machine and that's why we have so many ports open here. So I'm able to scan multiple targets using this Nmap. And uh, I can also scan for a range of IPs. Uh, let me show how to do that. So instead of giving it like this, I can scan a range of IPs. I can go with uh, scan everything from three to five. So it's going to scan 192.168.217.3, 217.4 and 217.5 and fetch me the reports. Okay, so it very well tells us that it has scanned three hosts and it gives a detailed report for all these three hosts separately. So 217.5, 217.3 and 217.4. There's another way to scan multiple targets. I'll tell you how to do that. We can separate the targets like this. Only the last octet of the IP can be given. Say I'm giving 192.168.217.3 comma 5 so it's going to scan 192.168.217.3 and 192.168.217.5 okay so it has scanned these two targets 217.5 and 217.3 you can also use a wildcard to scan your entire subnet or to scan the entire machines in your network so let me go and show you how to do that. So instead of giving like this, I can just give a star here. So this one scans all the machines in that network range. So we have got the results for the scan. 
we'll quickly move forward to the uh, next type of uh, scan see i have three systems i want to scan only two and exclude the another system or i want to scan for a specific uh, number of systems and exclude certain systems how can i do that i will show that here so i want to scan all these systems in this ip range so 192.168.217.1 dot three to five so i'm going to scan three systems here three four and five but i want to exclude four so how can i give that is iphone iphone exclude how can i give that is iphone iphone exclude and then i should give the ip of the system that i should be excluding from this range so it should be 192.168.217.4 so except for the system, I'm going to get a report for all the other systems. So here it gives me the report for two systems that is 217.5 and 217.3 whereas it has excluded 217.4. So if you have a large network and you are very much specific about uh, excluding certain systems from your scan, you can go on very well, use this command exclude. And uh, we have one more command called list, which just lists the IPs of all the systems in your network. For instance, uh, so I want to list the IPs. So I'll go with SL of all the systems in this range 192.168.1. Uh, from 3 to 5, I want to list their IP addresses. I want to discover these systems. So I just give it here. So it just gives me the list of IPs here. I know that I'm a little fast here, but uh, these are simple commands and I hope you guys are following me. So let me go and uh, show further commands, uh, further scans. So as I told you, so these kinds of scans are useful for network administrators to know which system is up, what are the ports open in a system and what are the services running in a system. And this is also very useful for um, security experts and hackers to know what is vulnerable in a system and what is open in a system so that we can go and target that system so that's why you know you should not perform such scans on systems for which you don't have permission you should only perform all these scans for which you have permission and you're authorized to do so so i'm giving all the ips here whereas you see all my machines are connected using an host only adapter or a host only network so that means my systems are not exposed to the internet i've explained what is host only network in my previous video so what this host only network does is it is just creating an isolated private network and uh, my systems are not visible to the outside world so that's where you know even though i am giving these ips it's very well within my network so without these settings don't just go and scan for systems using an ip so that becomes an illegal thing to do so please set up the uh, labs and then you start scanning in a controlled environment so let's go further say i want to scan the operating system details for a target i can do that i can give this command nmap o and then i can specify the target 192.168.217.5 so it gives me the details of the operating system running in that uh, target machine so you can see it very well gives me it's linux 2.6.x and uh, the os details here it also comes with the port uh, details too and it also gives us the details of the operating system running there we can go with a more aggressive scan say i want the entire uh, data about my target i want to be more aggressive i can go with this command it's nmap a and then specify the target so it gives me a very detailed uh, analysis of the target it's more aggressive So as you can see from the results, it has done an aggressive scan. It gives us a very detailed report on whatever services, whatever ports, the status of the ports, the operating system, the protocols. So you have a detailed 
report on your target so that's the use of a and we can also check whether our target is using any firewall to filter our packets whether the target is using any detection and prevention system to capture and filter our packets for that we have this command so we'll give yes a and then we'll specify the target so it's going to tell us whether our packets being sent are getting filtered or not. So since this is a vulnerable machine, there is no firewall or anything set up on this machine. So that's why it says all the packets sent to this particular machine are unfiltered. So it tells us that so it tells us that there is no firewall or packet filtering strategies running on this particular target. We can also go with another type of scan called the fast scan. Let me explain what is that. Just give nmap and then give an F. So what a fast scan does is it scans and returns you information about only ports that are open. It's just going to give you the essential information you need. So it, it's not going to worry about the ports that are closed. So you can see it's open and the results are going to be very fast and focused. You can also check for a specific port in a target. Say I want to know whether port number 80 is open in a target machine. I can do that. For that, I have to perform this nmap. I will give p port 80. So I am only worried about port 80 in my target machine. That is 192.168.217.5. So I want to check whether port 80, what is the status of port 80 in this system? Yeah, gives me the MAC address and it says port 80 is open. Likewise, I can go and check for any vulnerabilities. For instance, I can check for port 21. So this corresponds to the FTP port. Can I really FTP something? Let me check whether the port is open. Yeah, the FTP port is open. As I told you, this is a vulnerable Linux machine and that's why the port is open here. So I can very well try FTP of files from my system to the system and um, I can also check whether I can have an SSH connection on port 22 so let's uh, check this one uh, let me clear screen so let's check what is the status of port 22 okay it very well says the SSH uh, service is also open so these are some of the vulnerabilities I'm able to detect from this target machine having an IP 192.168.217.5. I can also scan a range of ports. How can I do that is I just give the range of ports. I want to scan everything from port number 20 to 80 in this target machine. I can do that. I'm just now focusing on a range of ports. Yeah. So it gives me only ports specific to 20 to 80 and the statuses. So we are done with the port scan. The next thing is, can we look at the services running on these ports? Say I am very much focused on what are the services running on the ports. For instance, there will be a MySQL service, there will be an FTP service, there will be an SSH service. I would like to know what are these services and in which ports these services are listening. For that, I can go with uh, nmap and then s and v so that denotes the services and i will mention the ip of the target system it's 192.168.217.5 it's going to fetch me all the services available in this target system Okay, now you see it gives me the state and the service and the port number. So it says FTP service is open in port number 21. SSH service is open in port number 22. HTTP service is open in port number 80. So it tells me all these services that are running in which port number and the status of the services. And uh, there's one more thing that we'll look into that is we can also scan for a particular 
port number and look at a particular service running on that port. So how we do that is we give nmap. We are worried about only port number 80. And then we want to know the service running in this port. We can very well go and do that. And we'll give the IP of the target 192.168.217.5. So it is very specific to the port and the service running on the port, the status, it also fetches me the MAC address. So that's how you run a lot of NMAP commands uh, from Kali Linux and you'll be able to understand, uh, get more info, gather more information about your target system or systems in a network.